Well, who doesn't love homestyle dishes that are quick and simple to prepare, but don't sacrifice any of the delicious flavors? Our next guest has made these kinds of dishes her trademark. Joining me now is cookbook author, TV host, and celebrity chef Lydia Bastianich. I'm so excited to have you with us on City Line. Your new cookbook, Lydia's A Pot, A Pan, and A Bowl. Uh, it looks amazing. And this is cookbook number 16. Oh, my goodness. So, Chef, please right. tell us, why do you love to share your recipes in your cookbooks and on TV shows? Well, well, Tracy, you know, I've been a chef for 50 years, lots of restaurants. I cook for a lot of people. But I think I get a lot of satisfaction out of teaching people and having people cook in their home because not everybody can come out to the restaurant. And this is one of those recipes, and the recipes that I have in this book are a lot like this. In one pot, you get everything done. So I have chicken alla cacciatore here. I'm putting some oil in the pan. I already browned my chicken right here uh, because that takes a while. I'm going to add on onions. And when you put the onions, you add them on not, you know, not too thinly sliced because then they sort of disintegrate. In the meantime, I want to share that I salted and seasoned the chicken. This is drumsticks. Everybody's into chicken breast. But you know, I love the dark meat and it's cheaper and it's moister and it lasts, it doesn't dry out if you cook it before. So drumsticks are good. I like chicken wings too, but here I have drumsticks. And to this, I'm gonna add some peppers and the peppers slice it again a certain size so that they don't disintegrate. And we let that all brown, nice, kind of let it wilt, you know. You add the vegetables as they cook. And then we add the chicken back into it, just like that. You can see the chicken has been nice and brown. Add it back into the pan. And you let this sort of cook together for a little while. And, you know, it takes the process. The, uh, TV wants everything quick, but this takes about 20 minutes to 40 minutes to finally cook it. A little bit of wine to deglaze it. I like, like how that. you're just eyeballing the wine there. Wine should always be added to when it's dry, so to deglaze, to get all the sauces out, and just enough to fit the bottom. And then you let the wine, the alcohol, dissipate. What right. you want is the flavor of the wine. And here I have some nice and dry oregano. You can buy oregano in, in a container, but this on, on a little branch, and you just squeeze the branch just like that. And to this, I add uh, plum tomatoes. Nice. I like my San Marzano tomato. Mm -hmm. I squeeze them. I get them plum. Don't mm -hmm. get the crushed tomato. The plum tomato, I add that right in here. And, you know, I a little bit of water just to rinse everything off so I don't waste anything. Yep. And so we're well on our way of cooking. So I'm thinking, I says, do I have enough salt? I salted the chicken. I didn't salt the mushrooms and all of that. So a little bit more salt. And I like a little pepperoncino. You like spicy stuff? I do. Throw in a little okay. kick there. Do it, chef. I love it. Okay. Okay. So this is it. And you let this kind of really bubble and boil away and cook. And ultimately, it gets finished. It is fantastic. It looks incredible. And congratulations on all your success. I can't wait to jump into this cookbook and then to see what the others are because she's made so many. Thank you so much for joining us today, Lydia.